UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said the world has made great strides towards millennium development goals, goals like fighting poverty. But what does great strides actually look like in practice? Well, there are still 1.2 billion people in the world who live in extreme poverty. There are some interesting solutions to fighting poverty coming from other quarters. As these world leaders meet at the UN, where else can we see solutions? Well, not necessarily a solution, and a lot of reason for skepticism, but there are some interesting models coming from the celebrity activism sector. I sat down with a band behind one approach, no doubt, as they were promoting this weekend's third annual Global Citizens Festival. They're reuniting for the first time in two years to perform at that debate, and they've been busy using social media to get some interesting world leaders engaged in this cause. Take a listen. It's not just our fans and Jay-Z's fans. It's, it's these people that care, that had to fight to get these tickets by, by taking action. So the energy that's going to be out there in that park is going to be, I think, unlike anything that we've ever experienced, because it's not a pay, you know, pay your money and get in. It's like, what can I do? And we're all, everybody's uniting to, to get there. And then everyone that's there has contributed in some way. So the energy is going to be, I think, really extreme positivity so I can't that's what I'm looking forward to because I, I've done well we've all done so many shows around the world so many years now and this is going to be something that we've never experienced I, mean, I think what's exciting is that the um, Tony and I were chatting the other day about the Prime Minister of Norway in particular because as you probably know Ernest Solberg uh, and uh, Norway is a country only five million people and yet they're one of the most generous nations in all of the world they give one percent of their gross national exactly income right. in foreign aid and so, you know, it's so exciting because if they, as the third largest donor to the Global Alliance of Vaccines and Immunizations, could step up this year, it would make the world of difference. And so, when no doubt were tweeting about them the other day, it was so cool because the next day I got on the phone with the folks from Norway and they're like, yeah, we saw the tweets from no doubt and it made a huge difference. So it shows the Do so you find world leaders listen when celebrities and performers like this speak up? Absolutely they do. You know, it's because, you know, this is about culture and changing culture. And really, I think No Doubt is an amazing artist and, and many of the other artists involved are in many ways the bastions of culture because music unites people. And so I think that what we found when, when No Doubt tweeted the other day is that it, it had such resonance. Even the, the Foreign Affairs Department of Norway said, yeah, we saw that, we're All so excited. Yeah, it works. I so, think that's one of the reasons why Hugh's been so successful with these specific initiatives is because they're so targeted. When he called and asked us to tweet, it was, you know, it was part of the spirit of this whole thing that we're involved with, and it was the, the least we could do. I mean, this is the thing that I see looking at this. I've definitely seen a lot of examples of celebrity activism that doesn't have an impact, and I think it's a very cool, different approach to this kind of change. Tony, it's been almost two years since you guys have performed. What prompted you to pick an event like this? We couldn't say no. This was an opportunity we couldn't pass up. Um, it was, uh, you know, we haven't played in a while, and when something this important comes along, uh, it's an organization that's so important like, from a selfish level, too. We haven't played for a while, and to get on front and in front of 60,000 people and play together again is going to be amazing. And one thing the band has been working on is child survival specifically. Why did you pair them up with that objective, Hugh? Well, it all happened because, um, you know, as you know, this year we're focused on three major objectives. The first one is access to education, particularly for girls. Secondly, water and sanitation, particularly in the Indian subcontinent. And thirdly, uh, child survival, which is principally a sub-Saharan African issue. And, and uh, again, when Tony and I connected a few weeks ago and, and we were talking about these issues, Tony said to me, you know, we've, we've all got children, you know, and so we know how important these children are to us. How many kids between all the members of the band now? Twelve, maybe? Twelve. Uh, yeah. Twelve, yeah. 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 That's, That's a lot awesome. of kids. <laughs> <laughs> and Adrian... For you, how has being a parent changed your commitment to trying to make a difference in the world beyond performing? To be honest with you, and I'll admit ignorance, you know, before we started talking about the initiative you started and, and, and getting involved with you, you know, I, I didn't realize that diarrhea was the number one killer. You know, I have, I have three boys and my oldest, uh, Ace, is eight years old, so he's going to come to New York with us. And That's I'm excited awesome. about him. Uh, seeing this whole thing and, and kind of opening his eyes to this world where um, we can take action in the world to help other people. You know, that's one of the things about, I think being a parent is you, all of a sudden you start thinking about someone else in the world and you start spending more energy on caring for someone else. Gwen, what would you say to other celebrities who are well-intentioned, 
uh, but aren't sure whether to make the leap into kind of focusing on these more substantive issues. How do you do it right? How do you do it without seeming dilettantish? Well, I think that, you know, really the, take the celebrity out of it. I mean, it's so different now. Like, everybody's a celebrity. Everybody ha can have their own website, their own platform, and they can make a difference where we didn't have that before. You, what do you say to people who say, this is celebrity showboating, this isn't substantive? Well, I think the proof is in the pudding. You know, we can point to the fact that earlier this year, um, Dr. Raj Shah of USAID got up on stage at our Thank You Festival in Washington, D.C., and he announced a doubling of his commitment to fund girls' education through the Global Partnership for Education. For the last 10 years, the U.S. government's given 20 million. Now they're increasing that from 40 now to 50 million. And that's what's so genius about what Hugh's doing is it's an even playing field. It's about just being human. It's about having your own platform and being able to like make a difference because we have social media, because we can impact each other, because the world has become very small now. The way you've done it, it's gonna, it's a movement, it's gonna last, it's gonna be actually effective. It's in, kind of incredible. I, the more that I sit here and the more we get into it and I learn more and more about it, I'm more blown away and feel so like honored to be part of something like this. Part of my conversation with No Doubt, thanks to the band for that. This weekend, MSNBC is going to be airing their performance and others at the third annual Global Citizens Festival, a concert to end extreme poverty. That will be live on Saturday, starting at 3 p.m., right here on MSNBC again, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm anchoring it along with my colleagues Chris Hayes and Alex Wagner. It'll be fun. And all week, we've been working with you to address a major facet of this global poverty fight and a major focus of that concert, lack of access to water. If you want to get involved, if you're moved by our coverage of that issue, there's something you can do. It's our call to action. Go to our website for a link to support the Water for the World Act, aiming to provide more people with clean water. That bill is stalled in Congress right now. You can share your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter using the hashtag GlobalCitizen.